After Darth Vader rooted at the supposed traitors to the Empire, it is revealed that Palpatine was already aware of who had joined the Crimson Dawn. OG meets up with Sly Moore. They were both Crimson Dawn, but neither's name was on the planted list. It was designed to off people. Suddenly, Ochi is electrocuted, bursting into the room with Sabe. She had planted it and she would reveal the real list to Vader, unless they complied. She wanted to know what Vader's goals were. Sabe would use her list to turn the Empire on each other. Ochi oversees the funeral of the supposed Crimson Dawn traitors. In Vader's quarter, Ochi gives the Dark Lord the details. Remote was going to be trouble. He didn't understand the true nature of the Sith, but his troops were all present at the slaughter of the Amidalans. Readying up, Ochi rallies the gang at the dismay of Valance, but the mercenaries are still loyal to Vader. During the attack, Tanaka is hit, and the mercs take cover as the round boy rains down thermal detonators. They happen upon a grim sight, prisoners being tortured. The group changes color and attacks the loyal Imperial officers, but are shut down by Vader's arrival. Just as he was about to find out the details of the Amidalan massacre, Tanaka shoots the officer, but Vader was more concerned by the apparent betrayal by Ochi, his closest ally. 